cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Let's get. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Super Bowl Sunday this weekend. So, what you making? I've got an idea. You know, I. I hate it when I miss that play that everybody's talking about, or worse yet, that commercial. Monday morning, everybody's talking about this one commercial, and you're in the kitchen. You missed it. Don't let that happen to you. So my game plan is to try and get as much done ahead. Just make it easy, put it all out on my kitchen island so everybody can help themselves when they're hungry, and I don't have to worry about serving everybody. So one of the things that we love to do, you also have to have a great sandwich for Super Bowl, right? You just have to. And with this cold weather, I don't want a cold, Sammy. I want something nice and warm. So what about doing sloppy joes for a crowd? You can make it ahead. You can actually get it all done Saturday or Sunday and then throw it in your slow cooker and just warm it up. Perfect. So it starts out, and this makes a big batch, but if you're having people over, feel free to double, triple the batch, whatever. But we're starting out with four pounds of lean ground beef. And I just cooked that up with a little onion. Gonna add some green pepper and some celery. Now, if your family doesn't do green pepper, you can completely leave that out. You could also lighten this up and use ground turkey. Okay, so I'm just going to get that going a little bit. Breaking up the meat, making sure it's nice and crumbly with the chop and stir. I love that. Okay, now I'm going to season this with some salt and pepper. We've got a lot of beef there, so really want to season it well. What I love about this recipe is, I came up with this recipe a while back, is you don't have to go get any mixes or things like that. You probably already have most of the ingredients right in your house right now. So this is just one of those great recipes that, you know, it's inexpensive to make and feeds a crowd and it's easy. So that's lots of things to love about it, that's for sure. Okay, now we're going to come in with some ketchup, quite a bit of ketchup. Some water. A little bit of apple cider vinegar. Brown sugar, so we've got the sweet going on, we got the savory, a little bit of sour. Worcestershire sauce, just a couple dashes of that, and a can of tomato paste. And you know me, I'm always cooking, even on the weekends. Make sure and watch Good Day Wisconsin Super Bowl Sunday. I'm going to show you how to uh, throw together the cutest ever snack tray that you can do at the last minute for the Super Bowl. Looks like a stadium. People will go crazy over it. It does double duty as a centerpiece. And also, you know, people can munch on it during the game. So it's super cute. So at home, you're going to let this simmer for a little bit. And then, as I said, what I like to do is put a bunch of buns out. Put the chips out, the veggie and dip tray, put some great treats out. You know, the bakery at festival is full of all sorts of great treats for Super Bowl. And everybody can help themselves and make their own sandwiches. So let this cook and simmer for maybe 15, 20 minutes, and then get it in your slow cooker. Keep it on nice, low, or warm heat. And you know what? In my book, there is nothing better than a really good sloppy joe. And this, these are winners, that is for sure. Make sure and get plenty of napkins out. We got some great buns from the bakery. And there you go. Sloppy Joe time. Hey, make sure and watch Living with Amy today. It's all about coffee. We are celebrating coffee with all sorts of really fun recipes. We're making a homemade coffee cake, a homemade biscotti recipe, perfect for dunking in that coffee. And if you like chocolate and coffee like me, I'm going to show you how to make the most amazing chocolate cake with a coffee buttercream frosting. It's going to be really good. So we'll see you here, Living with Amy. 10 o'clock, live right after Michael and Kelly. And Pete and Rachel will be right back. And by the way, you can get the Sloppy Joe recipe on our website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. Enjoy.